Uh, the uh, one of the brownest characters in Smash 4, I think. Sheik? Yeah. 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 She's like she she's roughly what Yo is. I think Yo is I think Yo is Pakistani. Yeah. Uh, Sheik more like and, okay, I'm just gonna drop this. Game one <laughs> on Smashville, Sheik versus Fox. I've always felt like this matchup was really close to even. Yes. Uh, even during the pre-pad Sheik days, I, I just feel like Fox is a really good character, has a neutral um, that can combat cheats, Sheik's to some extent. Main thing, I guess, would be offstage. Um, sort of similar to like Falco, MK, and Brawl. Yeah. Falco can definitely like fight MK on stage, but then the main Especially thing he has to worry quarters. yeah the main thing he has to worry about is being offstage. Um, and I think Fox has to worry about that even less. Um, but if he uses that up B, uh, he should be dead IMO. I think Bouncing Fish goes through it. You probably needles or Bouncing Fish. Probably just fair. Probably lots of stuff. You can yeah, do, a lot of tools beat out um, against Fox's illusion. Even then, like if Fox aims for the ledge and if he space it correctly, down tilt will beat it almost every time. Mm. And then. Depending on how you DI, like it can guarantee into an up smash tipper. Oh, true. Anyway, game one on Smashville for real this time. I'm gonna try it again. And this is real. This yeah. Is real. It, was looking, it was looking like a button check for a second. But yeah. Interesting here from uh, Space Dog. Just down tilt, double jab, and then turned around. I think he was expecting a roll or something, or maybe trying to set up an up tilt. Yeah, uh, very unorthodox by Space Song as well. He actually saw an opportunity because Yo did not DI the down throw correctly. He could have got a double up area, but unfortunately he flipped up and threw out in there instead. And here we go. And the oh DJ Khaled up airs. These, these pillars. Nice, and mix it up with the Firefox. Yeah, and that was a good way to use it because uh, Yo like already committed to them there, so he wasn't going anywhere. Nice. Nice, and... Yeah, not the best idea by Yo rolling in towards him, eating that foot and losing that stock relatively early at 90%. Yeah, I think if you rolled away, the only thing uh, Space Dog could have gotten was like a laser or a side Yeah. Um. Okay, fourth on Nair. He's going to side B right under those needles. Oh, tries to pull out the Larry really early. Respectable idea. I feel like he probably should have went to, for the Bouncing Fish instead. That way, yeah. Like, he could have potentially went for a stage spike, and if he did tech it, he could have went for a, another dump, uh, double jump fair. Mm -hmm. okay, or awesome. just the reverse bouncing fish. Yeah. I think he was expecting a side B there. Uh, Space Song not betting, going low and up being. Yeah, Space Song doing a really good job of just playing patient and trying to bait out Yonto throwing something out first and then retaliating after. And as you can see now, Yo's going to have a lot of trouble killing because that forward tilt is no longer even 50 50 ing. Um, Space Dunk can just do nothing, and the upper is not going to hit. Again, yeah, tries, tries to go with the bouncing fish this time, but again, he's just getting sent too high. We'll measure that out. But either way, he sends it right back off stage. There you go. Yep. And he's going to be okay with that trade because like, he was kind of desperate to get that kill. And yeah, this is where she's going to benefit off the most because when she gets that close quarters combat and gets Fox to hit her shield, then it's basically going to be a barrage of attacks, as you can see here with this opening. Ooh, that was a nair. That could have been it. Yeah. Still doing a good job of uh, taking the stage control over Fox and keep sending him back off stage. He's basically evened it, up, evened it up at this point, though. I guess Fox is a lot closer to killing Sheik than vice versa. Um, but 67 damage is nothing to scoff at, and like now Space Dog has to worry about like a, an offstage bouncing fish, some sort of edge guard, and every every time he gets it, he's gonna lose a lot of stage control. That's really costly against you. Ooh, very dangerous. But thankfully, uh, that up smash was a close call there. Ooh, nice frame trap. He actually gets a ledge trump there during his uh, edge guard attempt. Again, too high for the uh, the 50 50. Space Song just charging in there with that hashtag, hoping to catch him off guard. And honestly, anyone's game, they just need a, a clean confirm. F tilt into up air from Sheik and up tilt into up there air. There you go. And he's at the 115%. Of course, yeah. he got the kill. Okay, game one going to Space Song. This would be. A fair bit of an upset because yeah. Space Song actually dropped off the PR, and that's not even because of attendance. It was just uh, 
I guess the lackluster performance, to put it lightly. Um, yeah, that and bit trolling, like he did go midnight versus Mikkel. Right, and then yeah, yeah. Respectable that... losses, apart from like uh, maybe Gommel. Like, I think he had one or two losses that he shouldn't have lost. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yo switching to Diddy. I also feel like this matchup is pretty close to even, but I think. I actually think Diddy's better in this matchup than the Sheik, Sheik. But, not, but not by much. Yeah. Wow. Banana dash like double up till. That's a lot of damage. And that's the thing. Whenever the opponent has a banana, it's always risky of trying to challenge him because I believe throwing an item out of shield is actually your best option unless the, yeah. you got like a frame one like zero suit or up like Mario. Yeah, I think if you're like right next to their shield, it's actually plus six, so it guarantees a grab with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of busted. This game looking pretty even so far. No real like big conversions here outside of that one dash uh, banana string. Yeah, everyone's getting their straight hits it here and there. Getting that clean air dodge into the upper. And that was really smart by Yo. I liked that uh, he read the air dodge, got the down air, and then Space Song, and then he realized that Space Song was thinking, okay, I can't air dodge against this guy. And so knowing that, he went for the up air because he knew it was going to hit, and he got a, a really good way to get the kill there. Um, a really unorthodox way to get the kill, too. Nice empty hop grab. Right now, Space Dawn is going to be approaching the Fox Bomb soon. Like, if he, can, if he can't get that uh, guaranteed up tilt and up air, then he's going to be having a hard time killing. So. And it looks like if you DI it. Um. Uh, there's actually, like, uh, two spots for Fox. There's, like, the late oh. up tilt and then okay, okay. the strong up tilt. Strong up tilt is most likely uh, very you beginning. have the chance to, yeah, at the very beginning, and you can angle it. And then the late one comes out um, as his foot's coming above his head. Mm. Yeah, this is looking... Wow, sneaks past him yeah. in the back air. 70%, uh, quite a lot for Fox. However, um, he can get like a few strings if he's able to get this banana confirmed. And he, he can also get a gimp. Yeah. Uh, some sort of shine spike, the fair footstool, the nair to clip him out of the barrels. Um, he's got a lot of ways to, to get a gimp, but the problem's going to be with setting oh, it up. And the pivot up tilts. Oh, this is a problem. And to be honest, I'm surprised Yo didn't just go, go for the all or nothing. Like, he had no, no place but to go up. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like it's not the kind of player Yo is. Yeah. Like he wants to keep it safe. He didn't want to risk dying if he, like, messes up. Uh, that's probably why he went for, the, went for the back air. But, yeah, definitely down air would have been the better option. Maybe. I think he's just being, like, a little paranoid, I guess you could say. Anyway. Oh, okay, a little bit too far, and the Brett Favre Ooh. is going to make this a tiebreaker into Game 3. Might we see his... I don't feel like he should switch. Like, I don't think he needs to. I definitely feel like he can win with Fox, especially if he goes to a stage like Battlefield, where yeah. he can get all those upper strings. Battlefield or Dream? Yeah. It doesn't even look like he's considering switching. There you go. Oh, switching to Lucas, you mean? Lucas, maybe Meta Knight, but probably, no, no, no not Meta Knight. So yeah, Lucas. Um. Yeah, um, I feel like Diddy uh, shuts down both of them off stage. more so like Diddy is confirmed. Ooh. And yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, we gotta we gotta remember this because last time I was looking for a Yo highlight, I couldn't find one. That's, that's the best clip he's got so far, I think. Oh yeah, all of his stuff is Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> Sheik basic stuff. Nice. Running power shield to up tilt. Okay, captures the roll and getting some clean frame traps with this. He was really close to getting in a, a Nair Gimp setup there, but barely got clipped. So this is still this is still a full stock lead for uh, for Yo. Yeah. Oh, Reads the jump, gets the spike, and that's a 2-0. 75%. Yeah. Two in stock. Less than a minute. My Jeez. goodness. Congrats, yo. You now have a highlight reel we can use for once for Ontario. Yeah. 